Now, what do you make of this? Uh, quite striking, aren't they? Uh, how did you get that shape? Look carefully and you will see nude models as part of the canvas. It's not just Western models posing for pop art images. The technique has helped persuade women from other societies around the world to celebrate and feel comfortable with their own nudity. Uh, let's talk to the artist behind these creations, a Boyard Messenger. Uh, hi, Tim. Th hi, thanks, thanks for coming in. I mean, they are striking, and your eye isn't immediately drawn to those shapes until you look quite carefully. I, I think you call it scopophilia, or it's based on the word scopophilia, which to me sounds a bit sort of voyeuristic. Just, just explain what scopophilia is and, and what it means to you. Well, it's a term I discovered at university. It translates literally as the love of looking. And it was Sigmund Freud who said, in particular, it was the pleasure of gazing erotically at the form, in particular the female form. But it was Laura Mulvey, the 70s film critic, who said men did the looking and women were there to be looked at. OK, and I think we've just got one of your photographs here. Now, this is Lichtenstein, I think, isn't it? Bang, bang, bang. Yes. Uh, and uh, and those, are, th those, are, those are Western models or normal That's a Western people? model, yes. That's part of the progression that I got from the beginning of the journey. Um, but yes, it started with my desire looking at this scopophilia and my own insecurities as a teenage woman and at insecurities of my body and deciding that I wanted to address these gazes upon the body and find a way to liberate that object of desire within and have fun whilst doing it at the same time. So, I mean, so in Western societies, you know, you just, we've got the thing in New York at the moment, uh, I forget who it is now, I think, um, uh, the, 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 the uh, actress's daughter who says, you know, I want to be able to show my nipples on the streets of New York. But in other societies, uh, nudity is more of a, an issue, isn't it? More of a yeah, taboo. Yeah, there's negative stigmas attached. So j j just tell us a bit, a bit about that and, and, and has this sort of body art changed that in, in, in allowing women to, to be naked in front of people? Well, my journey started when I went to photograph a friend's wedding in Belize in Central America, which is where my husband's from. And um, I went to this little village called Placencia, and I was so inspired by the spirit of the people and the warmth and the generosity. But I was fascinated with wanting to continue exploring the, nation, uh, the notion of the gaze on the female body. But it was very negative stigmas. So, so I mean, how shy then were these, were these women in, in, in Belize? I mean, what, did they refuse? To... It wasn't really an option. In particular, it was a very male, it's a male-led culture so there was there was perhaps a threat attached to why I was wanted to do this why would she want to photograph them naked so that's when I decided to get the paintbrush out and by offering an armor of, of paint on their body I found a loophole to get through the nudity and, and did that then sort of transform their view of nudity not only for the for the women and, and, and for the men and is it something that, that I mean I think in Islamic society it would be an absolute taboo wouldn't it yes. but, but in more sort of conservative uh, sort of South American societies is that something which picks up with the heritage perhaps of body painting for the last you know thousand years where people adorn themselves to actually hide that nudity I, I think so I mean it was basically you're providing an armor you're sort of liberating that inner goddess within and allowing them to experiment um, and create beautiful images but also feeling like they're not completely exposed and so I managed to turn the negative stigmas attached around and in the end I managed to get it so that the women were celebrated that I was photographing and there was a local girl called Doyen who I photographed she was the first lady I did and she said I changed the way she thought about her body and she realized she was beautiful inside and out well, it's, uh, it's interesting. I mean, uh, the uh, Lichtenstein stuff I, I've seen in London. I think you're exhibiting in London and, uh, and around the world as well. Boyard, thank you very much, Chef. Boyard thank Messenger, you so for uh, much. coming in.